Welcome back everyone. So today's uh, fun job is uh, fitting a tow bar to the uh, the Nissan X-Trail. Um, it's a T32, uh, sort of 2015-2016 plate. Um, it's going to be the same as the uh, Nissan Rogue if you're the um, other side of the pond. So um, I have a generic um, removable discrete fit swan neck yep, tow bar. Um, but I do have the genuine Nissan uh, 13 pin wiring uh, kit for the car it didn't they didn't have any of the um, auxiliary power uh, sockets in stock at the time um, so once they've got it back in stock I'll order that and then um, I'll fit that at a later stage that's just so you can um, power the uh, trailer or whatever you're like for myself it'd be a caravan um, it means I can have the uh, the fridge running and it'd be powered off the car as as we go along um, as opposed to the caravan battery itself but um, I say that's something I'll be doing later on um, but today it's just going to be the um, wiring and the and the tow bar um, it's pretty much the same um, obviously I have a genuine Nissan kit which will be uh, basically more plug and play than anything um, it did come with a wiring kit, but that's all very, um, you've got to plug it into the right wires and so on. And um, what I will do is if I can in the, de in the details section, I will uh, put a diagram of the wiring in there. So you know what colors, what, and what goes where, um, as always, I try and make it as painless as possible. Um, any questions, just whack it in the uh, comments section. Um, so let's get on. The first thing we're doing, um, cause you've got to do the wiring as well. We need to remove some panels in the rear before we start on the bumper. So, all we've got to do, remove these, they just pull out of the way. Um, where are we? And just this bottom one. Sorry for the camera's a little bit unsteady today. My uh, gimbal's run out of uh, battery. Um, next thing you know, I need to do is remove this panel. Okay, um, that's held in under these so what you need to do is lift these up once you pulled these up in there there is a 10 mil bolt and there's one there and there's one at the back there once you've uh, undone them two you've got these covers here so there's one there and there's one there just a little pick tool pulls them out again two 10 mil bolts remove them then we need to remove this panel uh, which is just if I can get it to work, I can't do it left-handed, but this is just normal studs. So, panel tool underneath. Panel tool underneath, and, it, and it'll pop out. There we go. If the, if the pop has come off, we'll just put them back in. Easy peasy. This thing is this rear panel here. It should again just be, might just have to move the f seam out of the way, but this should be. I can get my popper, I'll get my uh, panel tool in there, but this is just held on my poppers all the way along. As you can see, it's held in with six poppers, one popped off. I've got another one, but six poppers all the way along. So with the side panel, it's just held in again with poppers. So if you get your panel tool in down the side there, look, and just pry it out, and then that will come out. I need to uh, unpop it up the other end and just slide it out. Once that's out, this is the wiring bit here and the grommet down there that we need to get to uh, for the wiring. But we'll uh, we'll do that wiring when we get to it. To get the bumper off, what we need to do to start with is we need to remove these screws which are torque 20 bits um, so that we can loosen off this this grill um, you have got the mud flap there I can't get to the bottom one because my tires in the way I don't particularly want to take the tire off so what I want to try and do just remove this top one and this one just so this comes loose hopefully that will stay stuck to the bumper and it will come off uh, with the bumper um, it might not and I might have to come back um, and take that off but we'll do that as we go along. We do panel tool in and gently pry on this. We've got one, two, three, four, maybe five, but we need to get to this 10 mil bolt there. Then all we're doing is removing the 10 mil bolt. Next thing underneath what we've got is the one either side of the push stud and then you've got two 
in the oh in the middle just push studs that need to be undone this thing is a 10 mil bolt one either side got little poppers so again panel tool in and just pop it out once you've done both sides that'll be loose and just be careful uh, it might be worth having an extra pair of hands just to grab the other side as you lower it down once it's layered onto the ground all you need to do is just disconnect these two connectors and your bumper will be free next thing is to remove the crash bar and you've got six bolts three on each side you've got one at the, two at the top and one at the bottom just underneath uh, they're 13 mil and we removed them last thing to take off is the toey bit <laughs> um, you've got three 19 mil bolts this side and then just on the other side you've got another two in there as well uh, and then that's the car stripped down ready to start putting the tow bar back on this is all the kit laid out now um, I think all tow bars all are pretty much generic and all are the same in the way they go together and you've got the main bar hangers well they're sort of brackets hangers um, nuts and bolts all m12 and a couple of little extra adapters and we do use some of the original bolts as well um on the manual it does say about torque settings in regards to all the m12s are 85 newton meters uh, and i can't remember what the bigger ones are but they are in the manual and in the description i will put what the torques were for this but obviously do read the, the manual uh, and fitting instructions when you do use your one um because the torque settings may be different so with these two brackets um you feed them through the crash bar end and they will go into here so you've got the long one that because there's two sizes the long one will sit inside like that and the shorter one goes on the side oh can't get it for those two holes there so that's the brackets in place and bolted up I uh you can see it in there and I talked it to the spec for the M12s which is 85 newton meters we install this side the other the, well on UK the driver's side we're going to use two of the original uh, bolts that you took off for that the only thing is now is to put the bar on put the two bolts in either side and um, what we'll do now is we'll go around and we'll uh, torque all the bolts up to spec which should be um, 85 newton meters um, and then the only next thing to do because this is a discrete fit and um, we've got to cut uh, the rear bump and notch out the rear bumper um, but we're uh, I'll do that off camera and then I'll explain what I've done afterwards this is the um, genuine Nissan wiring kit for a 13 pin um, I say it doesn't have the auxiliary power one um, and you've got the control module and bits and bobs there. Um, to get it through is relatively simple. Um, just in there is a rubber bung. You need to pop that out, and that'll bring you through down into into there. The only problem is what it doesn't say in the book is you need to remove the cable because uh, these won't f these won't fit through basically. Um, so you have to remove the cable off of here uh, to feed the cable through. So the cabling didn't fit on there. So up here was a flat bit of metal. I ended up drilling a 35mm hole and that sits in there perfectly. And we do now is so run the cable along and it's bolted on to the bottom there. So with the wiring kit, as I expect it to be fully plug and play. So on here you've got the connectors this one goes to your control module this white one connects into there the oh, yeah so the white one there connects into there the brown one up the top here folded out the way was this you remove that little adapter oh remove this little adapter throw it in the bin and then that plugs in and the only one left is that one and that's for your auxiliary volt uh, 12 volt but i don't have that module at the moment and then you've got two earth leads that go to that earth point there 
so that's the end of the video as always hopefully it was helpful um if it was please like the video look to subscribe to the channel um i've got loads of other videos coming up on the on the nissan um we'll do some uh, front uh, light bars uh, and some bits and bobs like that um so there's quite a bit coming up on the on the nissan i've got a load of coming up on the land rover i've got lots on the land rover to be honest um still halfway through building that um as always questions comments in the comment section um i'll get back to you as quickly as i can um i'll put all the links that i can in the description um i I did lose a bit of the footage at the end. Obviously, once I've done the wiring, um, everything goes back the same way uh, as you took it off. Um, unfortunately, all that bit got lost. Um, but hey, it is what it is. But like I say, hopefully it was helpful. And um, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.